This question asks, what is the pH of a solution that has 0.12 molarity or molar ammonium chloride and 0.42 molar ammonia? And these two, so, uh, well, ammonium chloride is really a salt, an ionic compound that dissolves. So it breaks down into ammonium ions and chloride ions. We've got our NH3, and that right here, we have our conjugate pair of weak acid and conjugate weak base, which means we have a buffer. And how do we solve all buffer problems for pH? We use the henderson hasselbalch equation, which is pH equals pKa plus log of and here we can have either molarity or moles. We have molarity this time. So I'm going to have molarity of my conjugate weak base over my molarity of my weak acid. Now there's a couple things still to fill in here. One, we need the pKa of our weak acid. Our weak acid, as we said, is ammonium. And ammonium is not on our list our, uh, because ammonium is an ion and uh, typically, uh, there are molecules, and the molecule ammonia is on there with a Kb value. And if I look up the Kb value for ammonia, it is 1.76 times 10 to the minus 5th. And to find a Ka value for its conjugate acid, the formula is going to be Ka for that acid equals Kw over Kb, so 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 over 1.76 times 10 to the minus 5th, and our Ka value, got my calculator right here, 1, 14 minus, divided by 1.76, excellent 5 minus, I get 5.68, or let's say 5.7, so Ka, for ammonium equals 5.7 times 10 to the minus 10. And pKa is going to be the negative log of that. And the pKa, and I'm going to actually type in 5.7, exponent 10 minus log, and I get 9.24. So my pKa equals 9.24 plus log of my molarity of ammonia, which is 0 0.42 molar, over 0 0.12 molar. Ammonium, and plugging that in, so 0 0.42 divided by 0.12. I get that number, that's 3.5. I log it, that's 0.544, but 0.54. So 9.24 plus 0.54. And my final answer for pH for this is going to be 9.78. And let's check in to see if that makes sense. Uh, I have more weak base than weak acid in my conjugate pair. That means that log term is going to be a positive. It's going to be bigger than one, which means that the log will be positive, which means our pH should be higher than our pKa value. So that makes sense.